guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to show you my face story unboxing specifically the bye bye oils box i'm gonna be trying them on for you and i'm gonna tell you what my thoughts and opinions are for each of the seven masks that are in this box um, but before we get started if you're new here welcome please remember to subscribe to this channel i post videos once a week so just hit the notification bell at the bottom right hand corner of the screen so that you can be notified of more future videos such as these. And with that said, let's get started. So if you haven't heard already, Face Story is a mask subscription box. I haven't really subscribed to the Face Story box, but I was so intrigued because they had a box specifically curated for um, oily skin. So I had to get that box, of course. So the past couple of weeks, I've been trying on the seven masks that I got in the box. And even though you're not subscribed to Face Story, you can still purchase the mask individually if you'd like. So when you get the box, they have a note which it which says your story, bye bye oils. Need to say goodbye to your oils. Uh, the time has come to finally say goodbye. So this box was specifically meant for people with oily skin. So that's nice. And then the other thing that I got is, is a card which talks about each of the seven masks that are in the box. And mine is right here. I kind of observed my face the following day and looked at the results after trying on the mask. So the first mask that I used is the Yada Soothing Mask. The key ingredients in this mask is honeysuckle flower extract, a skin soothing agent, which prevents signs of aging, and the Bortucula oleracea extract, an excellent antioxidant that fights premature aging and protects the skin from environmental damage. So um, this sheet mask is a cotton sheet mask. It felt really cooling, and then I felt like it really evened out the skin tone and kind of minimized my pores a bit. But of all the sheet masks that I tried in this box, this is the only one where I noticed the following day, my face was looking really plump and healthy and just overall radiant. So I really, really enjoyed that mask. Actually one of my favorite masks in the box. So the next mask that I tried a couple of days later is called the Anature Sika Herb Restore Sheet Mask. This sheet mask helps the skin's barrier and soothe irritated skin, and it also helps reduce the appearance of blemishes and provide additional benefits to aging skin. So with this mask, I really didn't feel anything special about it. Um, it did feel a lot cooling when um, I put it on, and it stayed cool for the whole 20 minutes. I know for a fact that when your blemishes are really inflamed and they look really angry, <laughs> and red you know if you put ice on top of the um, blemish it could help subside the redness and so i think that's what this mask was trying to do really reduce the appearance of blemishes and through that cooling effect that i felt otherwise it was a nice feeling when i put this mask on so the next mask that i tried was my most favorite of all this is the skin 17 americano mask and it's actually a three-step process mask. I've never really tried that kind of mask before. So the first step is to apply the Sebum Tightening T-Zone Essence in the forehead and nose area. And then step two um, is to apply the Moisture C Ampoule, Ampoule on top of the cheekbones, around the eyes. And then step three was applying the actual mask itself, which is uh, which contains coffee seed extract that helps promote collagen and combat signs of aging. So this mask was my most favorite mask. It had a lot of excess serum, first of all, so they didn't skimp out on that. I mean, I had to find other ways to apply the serum like around my hands because I didn't want it to go to waste. It was so much fun applying the three-step process. Um, the Witch Hazel Extract from Step 1 is a natural astringent that helps remove the excess oils. And then Step 2... Okay, sorry guys, I'm really having trouble with lighting today because the sun keeps going in and out. You might see my face changing a bit every now and then. I really apologize. But anyways, um, as I was saying, this Americano mask 
was really fun to use. It smelled really good and then I also felt like my pores were tightening. Not just tightening but also lifting. I had fun using that mask. I highly recommend it and it's actually one of my most favorite masks. So the next mask that I tried was the Moshka Deer Tea Tree Mask. And I was really really excited for this mask but it wasn't really my favorite. So tea tree is really a known ingredient in fighting acne and I use that a lot with my acne, especially under makeup. Um, so I was really excited to try on this mask. So it contained tea tree oil that helps with lightening scars and it's also an antiseptic and anti-inflammatory ingredient. And then the witch hazel is a natural astringent that helps remove excess oil. So this is really a good mask for someone with acne prone skin like myself. When I first put it on, it smelled like tea tree right away. It had a very cooling effect, but also tingling. Like So I felt like it was doing something really good to the skin. But after a while, it made my skin a little itchy. So. You know, if you have sensitive skin, I'd watch out for that. So I could be allergic to it, but you probably aren't. And I think this would be good for someone with, with acne. Okay, so the next mask that I tried is called the Nada Yellow Sheet Mask. So this mask is also one of my favorite masks in the box. So this one says it's a moisturizing and calming mask, and that's exactly what I felt the moment I put it on my face. It felt so calming, it felt so refreshing. Just overall, my face loved it a lot. It had a lot of floral scents, but also berry scents. And it does contain um, a berry extract, which is an antioxidant, um, contains vitamin C and E. All of those um, ingredients are really very nourishing and moisturizing to the skin. So I love this mask. I highly recommend it. The next mask that I tried is the Better Skin Premium Volcanic Ash Detoxifying Sheet Mask. So this mask contains volcanic ash, helps treat symptoms such as irritated skin, blemishes, and acne. And it also has uh, Camellia Japano Japonica Seed Oil. Um, it's an antioxidant and kind of gives you a dewy glow. This mask really wasn't my favorite mask and I think it broke me out. When I put it on my face, it felt really tightening. Okay, the vacuum, right? If you have a vacuum where you feel that suction kind of pulling your hand in. Um, so that's kind of what I felt. And so I thought, oh, this is gonna be great. It's really opening up the pores. It's really detoxifying the skin. But when I took it out, it just left my face feeling really dry and dehydrated. Um, like I needed to put a ton of moisturizer for it to, you know, feel normal again. I felt like I needed to wash off my face, although the mask said don't wash off your face. It wasn't a very relaxing mask, I, I'm telling you. This one felt tingling but also stinging. So I probably was allergic to the mask. You know, you might not be allergic to the mask, but I, I think I was. Um, it is an exfoliating mask. It felt really harsh on the skin. I just did not like this mask at all, so I don't recommend it. So the last one is the Sun Bay mask. I was really hoping and waiting for warmer weather here in California, but it never came. <laughs> in fact, the day that I used this mask, it was raining really hard. The Sun Bay mask is a rayon sheet material. It contains aloe extract and jojoba seed oil. So aloe extract, we all know that's good for the skin when it's irritated or when you have a sunburn. Jojoba seed oil is used to actually treat acne. I think this mask would be really good when the weather is sunny, after coming home from a day at the beach. It's a mask that's good to use after um, you've been exposed to the sun for a really long time. So I really recommend it. It smells so good. It left my skin feeling really moisturized. So thumbs up to this 
mask for sure. So that's it guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thumbs up this video if you liked it or if you learned something. All of the masks that I tried is in the description box below in case you want to purchase them from Face Story. Please remember to subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you guys back in my corner soon. Bye!